all born the same, some are born in affluence, some are not. But the things that you do in life, the relationships that you keep in life, the networks that you keep, you attract uh, who you are. If you don't value people, people will not value you. It's important to work around having people around you that add value to your life. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. Uh, my name is Simon K. on the Financial Diet. Very excited to be with you. We're always excited that you spend time to tune in and uh, check us out and listen to content that we uh, share with you here on the Financial Diet. And our desire is that we always say in this program that there are four stages or there are four areas. One is the financially astute and the last one is the financially struggling. And them that are in between, they're not uh, astute and they're not struggling, they're just in between. And our desire is that everyone becomes financially astute and, and, and we are always very happy when you're walking a journey with you, we are always very happy when you guys reach out to us and uh, talk to us and uh, walk with us. I'm, I'm happy when uh, I, I talk to someone and uh, someone reaches out for more help and more consultation. And, and, and it becomes nice when we see you grow and getting better, when we see you improving. And that's our desire. We say uh, 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 this is like food and that's why it's called financial diet. Every time, if you stop eating, you'll die. If you stop doing a few things in the financial realm and in the financial area, your finances will die or your finances will rot or your finances will stop improving or getting better or stop growing. And it's very important to nurture uh, your financial journey and your financial well-being. That's our desire. Uh, last time uh, I, I, I've taken a break, I had taken a small break, and but the previous time that we are here, we were talking about how you as a person matters on this financial story, on this financial conversation. It is you that determines how high you go, high, how low you go. And if, you've, uh, if, if you get time, you can go back and check us out and check that out and listen to how many things, the number of things I talked about, a few things uh, that matters about you. So on this financial journey, it's about you. And I'm happy to come before you today and talk to you about something, something different. <clears throat> This, 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 this time that I was, had taken a small break, um, uh, I, I was telling uh, someone before I stepped into the show that I'd, I'd had uh, um, a time to reflect, a time to sit down, a time uh, that you call yourself for a meeting. And uh, as I said, it is you that matters. I also do that myself. Uh, to call yourself for a meeting and uh, sometimes ask yourself a, num uh, ask yourself a number of questions. Um, uh, and, and this was motivated by a few uh, instances and, 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 and a few happenings that had happened, have happened in the past few weeks. Uh, I've, I've lost a number of people, uh, some uh, close, some not close. And uh, I've, 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 I've come to realize that it's important on this financial journey, on this journey of life, to have something that I want to talk about. It's very, very important to ensure that as you live, as you live your life, because one day you're going to be six feet under. One day we're going to be gathered around you and we will talk about you and about the life that you lived one day. And um, to some, the day will come sooner. To some, the day will be longer. Oh, I'm even reminded that even uh, this week, uh, we lost, uh, I think last week, we lost, uh, uh, okay, we lost the father of the nation. And, um, and, 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 and sometimes, you listen to the journey that he's walked in his life, the things that he's done in his life, the things that he did with his time. And, 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 and there are many things about life, and I'm not, a, I'm not preaching, uh, I can be tempted to do that, but I sat down and, and, and realized and, and, and analyzed and, and, and audited uh, and, and it's important to you, and I, I challenge you to as well uh, do that. Sit down with yourself, because you, you can only be truthful to yourself. 
sit down with yourself and audit. And, um, and, and, and uh, uh, let me not get ahead of myself. Today, I want to talk about capital. There are four types of capital. There is the financial capital, there is the uh, equity capital, and there is the human capital, that is the human element, and there is the social capital. There are four types of capital. And I want to talk about the last one. And uh, this, as I said, has been motivated by the happenings that have happened in the past uh, three or so weeks uh, in my life and about conversations that I've been having with myself. One of, this, uh, one of the barriers that I attended, uh, one of the barriers I, I attended, uh, and I've attended a few, uh, they were talking about how, how, how it's important to have people around you that will say things. And my topic today is how worth, or what's the worth of your social capital. It's good to have people around you and these relationships and these networks, because social capital is brought about by the networks that you keep. And uh, sometimes scholars say that social capital affects the human capital, positively or negatively. I will not talk about that and what scholars say. I want to stay targeted and very focused on social capital. I'm reminded of a people, uh, someone who said that he has a number of friends or a number of people around them that he can call in the middle of the night and they will take the next flight available or they will, take, uh, they will stop whatever it is that they're doing and they will come to their rescue. And sometimes, I said it's important to, to, get, uh, to sit down and analyze yourself and audit what's your social capital. So on this burial that I had attended, people were talking about how this gentleman, and may God rest his soul in peace, how this gentleman, you know, was there for them, had supported them, had impacted their lives positively, how, uh, how someone got... Uh, how someone got something because of the influence of this gentleman and his social capital was a huge we are all born the same some are born in affluence some are not but the things that you do in life the relationships that you keep in life the networks that you keep your social capital and I'm not saying this uh, 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 so that you work uh, towards uh, when the, that time that you die. But I'm talking about social capital that can help you now. A friend of mine was telling me, it's important to work around having people around you that add value to your life or networks around you that add value into your life. People that are going to open doors for you. Um, people that are going to... Uh, give you money and start businesses for you and stand with you and work with you until that business, is, that business uh, succeeds. People that are going to uh, uh, help you in your financial marital uh, crisis and work with you, not just give you money, but give you advice. You know, people that are going to invest in you, but you attract uh, who you are. If you don't value people, people will not value you. And you will repel people. You will keep people away from you. And this capital, social capital, these networks, your neighbors, I'm told of a gentleman that all the times used to send money in case someone dies in the village. That gentleman used to send money in that, uh, whoever dies, they used to send money. But he was never present. He was never there physically. So, unfortunately, uh, someone in his home died. So what the villagers did, because this guy never came, he never at any one time uh, failed to give money, but he was never there. So what this village did, they came and contributed money, and after contributing money, they sent the money to this man. 
and told this man, uh, that is the money, uh, you can bury your own. Because it's not just about money. Money is important. And um, uh, the Bible says it answers all things. I was talking to some people here and I was telling them that money, we all need money. Uh, everything that we do from, from what we clothe, from the equipment that is around us, this building, uh, we came here, uh, transport, everything is, is about money. Uh, and, and, and we can't rule out the significance of money. So this guy, this, uh, th this uh, old man was, was being taught about the value of his social capital. Because some people think it's just about, it's just about money. Sometimes it's not just about money. And these networks and these relationships that you keep. And um, th th there was someone, uh, th there was one show that I, I, I was talking about the importance of uh, time being money and the importance of valuing money. So it's important to value money, but also it's important to value relationships. Someone said that if you are not, uh, if, 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 if I tell you, if you're not calling me, that means, or you don't spend, you don't, you cannot accord me time. That means I'm not as important to you as other people. These networks, these networks that we establish, they have to be nurtured. They have to be grown. You have to go an extra mile. And it, it, it can never be one-sided. It is two-sided. It is you give and the other person gives in this relationship and you nurture it. And this, as I said, these networks, the benefits of having social capital is that it opens to you doors. It's, 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 it's as good as money. It's as good as a currency. I hear of people who say that my word is my bond, that I will, um, I, I, I will refer you somewhere. And when you talk about my name, you know, I remember one day, one day I was looking for, uh, a few, few months ago, I was looking for um, my good conduct. And um, my dad calls someone and, uh, and that someone told me, uh, told him, uh, you just go and see so-and-so. Um, uh, and then I went from the gate, I was saying, I have, I'm here to see so-and-so. I'm here to see so-and-so. And who has sent you? This person. Person X, me, uh, person X has sent me to Y. And when I go to the office, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this big office and this, uh, this service and this favor thanks to that big name that I was referred to. But this is all about networks and about relationships. And I, again, as I said, it's not just about money. I'm say, talking about some of the things that networks, your social capital will do for you. Someone was telling me, giving me a story yesterday about how he had gone round about an issue dealing with one public university. And, um, and then this guy was referred to, uh, was told, talk to so-and-so. And when he talked to so-and-so, something that had taken him six months to deal, to sort out, only took a day, I think a day or two, to sort out. It saves you time, your social capital, your social capital, your networks. They save you time. And, 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 and you see, time, as I said, time is money. And when you ensure that you live well and that you, you invest into, you know, you're not this kind of a person that is aloof, that is, uh, you know, not interested. Love people. Be there for people. Volunteer. You know, go out of your way. We, 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 we've had, uh, we, we, we have many opportunities that you can go and help someone. You don't know what that person will be 10 years from now or 20 years from now. And because someone is down today, it doesn't mean that they will not be up tomorrow. I remember on one particular function, uh, 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 there was a meeting I was having, and this person told me that uh, I will not be joining that meeting because it requires money, uh, it requires funds, uh, and uh, you will kindly allow me not to join that meeting. 
But I told this person, um, whatever it is that we are supposed to give, I'll be contributing for you because your ideas are valuable as well. And uh, guess what? Uh, before, before we started the meeting, the f meeting was supposed to be the following week. Before we even started the meeting, they got a job and they were able to give way more than a number of people that, uh, that, 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 that were in that meeting. Had I written this person off, had I told them you don't have money and you will, you will not, um, uh, it's okay, don't come uh, because you don't have money and we need money. In the same, same meeting, a gentleman, a friend of mine, didn't come for the meeting, but he gave us an idea, an idea that saved us 30,000 shillings then. That was a lot of money. He didn't even contribute but he gave us an idea that saved us money. So I know people are wondering, this is a financial diet show, and why am I talking about social capital? It's capital. It's, it's, something, it's something that you, it's not tangible, but it's something that can create you wealth, can create you money. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of, of, of people that have uh, friends that can... Uh, get them deals that will save them half the cost of an item because they have sourced it from a particular person or they have gotten it from a person that is selling at a wholesale price or uh, giving you at cost of an item because of who they are and who they know. It's important, as I said, to sit down and analyze this show, I was to challenge you to sit down and evaluate what is your network. If something happened to you today, would your networks, would, your, would the people around you, the people that you associate with, the people that you know, can they bail you out? Can they, uh, can they help you out? Do you know of people in your contacts that can save you out of situations and save you out of circumstances? How worth or how big or how much is your social capital? And then again, as I said, I've been evaluating and, 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 and thinking, what will people say about you on that day that you die because some people die out of sickness some people die out of accidents some people die out of different things but what will we say about you how did you live with people how did you what will your neighbors say about you what will your what will your friends your close friends say about you what will your family say about you are you this kind of a person that has zero contacts with your family, zero. Are you this kind of a person that does not in any occasion show up? You're too busy, you're very busy for, uh, <laughs> for being with people. Are you this kind of a person that is there, you know, you're there with people, you're there with, uh, uh, with with, uh, with the elderly, you you every so often you're going to support the elderly. You someone around you uh, has an issue, you're helping. I, I, uh, you know you're there for people, and 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 sometimes uh, people when, when when people lose loved ones, maybe you don't even have money, but you're there physically to support them and speak with them and comfort them and encourage them. Are you this kind of a person that is f uh, empathetic about people and? are there you know someone is being harassed in a matatu and you have some money uh this person lost their fare or they have they didn't have enough fare and they have to get home can you reach out and help you never know sometimes as i say uh, uh it's 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 you give and god will give to you but also even these investments that you invest in people it will reward you you know if you sow sparingly in relationships you will reap sparingly. But if you sow bondfully, uh, if you sow uh, 
I can't remember how that one goes. If, if you sow a lot, uh, you will reap a lot. So it's, it's, it's important for you to ensure that you invest in your social cult capital. Cultivate relationships. You know, there are people that are toxic. Get them out of your life. You know, they will make you uh, spoil the others that are around you. Um, take care of yourself. You know, when you die, let it be said of you or whatever it, when, whenever there is need for your social capital to come through for you, let them come through for you in a big way because you've invested in your social capital and you're growing it. You know, don't just, don't just uh, say I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the number of friends that I have. Friends keep changing. There are friends that are seasonal, that, there are them that are long term. Friends keep changing, but keep cultivating. Don't do things that will take away even the closest of friends because you've gone through a difficult moment in your life. So you are angry and annoyed at everyone and you cut off every relationship. Things, relationships that would have even helped you in a scenario. Uh, I've known of people who've committed suicide because they didn't have people around them that they would have opened up to and talked to. But if you have people that you can speak to, people you can talk to, they will help you out of scenarios and situations. Build a wonderful, powerful social capital. So the assignment today is as you retire, sit down and analyze what's the worth of your social capital. God bless you.